the number of Dante's Inferno. Yes, please. I gotta get back to the hospital. That new grandson of yours is really something, huh? Gonna be the greatest quarterback Stanford ever had in 1979. I'm terribly sorry. It's all right, pal. It's all right. Don't navigate so well without your specs, eh? Oh. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think not. I beg your pardon? Pretty neat for an old gag. I've seen better. Hand it over. Uh, hand what? I've been up against it pretty bad. I just hit the street last week after six months in the can. Give me a break, will you? I ought to break your pocket picking fingers. The police, really? Now, if I'm going to advertise, I want this weasel to tell his punk friends this is a good place not to try their luck in. Honest, I'll tell him. This will be the cleanest place in town, honest. Go on, beat it. Thanks. Feeling condition? Well, there are some things like roller skating that one never forgets. Tally ho. I beg your pardon, but please forgive me. Sure. Now I'm beginning to feel like a regular bottleneck here. Our mistake, sir. Uh, Beth, give the gentleman another drink on the house. Uh, no, thanks. I gotta get back anyway. Thank you, Biff. Good night. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. What was that all about? An ancient philosopher once said that the only difference between virtue and vice lies in the motive. Well, if he said that to a jury, he's probably still making little rocks out of big ones. Hello, Dante's Inferno. Julie Dean? Yeah, he's here. Just a minute. Old girlfriends don't fade away. They simply get married, didn't she? With my blessing. Hello, Julie. Oh, wait a minute, honey. Now, take it easy. Who's following you? I don't know his name, but I do know who he's working for. Do you remember the gambler who came to your table in Kansas City? Phil Diamond? Well, Julie, why should he... Please, Willie, don't ask me to explain now. I just got off a plane, and there was this gunman waiting to follow me. My husband's life may be in danger, and... Oh, Willie, I... I don't know what to do. Where are you? I'm in a drugstore near the airport. He's outside, sitting in a cab. Okay, Julie, listen. Now find yourself a cab and come to my club. But don't come in the front way. There's an alley that goes around to the side that leads to our service entrance. I'll be looking for you there. Okay? Right. <laughs> Get out of the way. 
Okay, okay. Now we talk a little. Why are you following her? I was just doing a job. For Phil Diamond? Yeah. He's probably got a record. If we call the police... They'll also want to know why. We can't, Willie. Okay. I'm going to throw you back. But if I see your face around here again, you're not going to be so lucky. Beat it. <laughs> Julie. Oh, Willie. Willie, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's okay now. We'll take you inside, get you cleaned up, and you can tell me all about it. to be anyone's guardian angel, but I guess I asked for this six months ago when I was in Kansas City on business. I was at a supper club enjoying the mood after a long day of saying no to a restaurant syndicate that wanted to start a chain of dandies infernos across the country. After a good Kansas City steak, I was feeling warm, lazy, and nostalgic. And sure enough, the past slipped me a Mickey. Julie! Hello, Willie D. What are you doing here? Seeing somewhat, and I'm a little hurt you didn't notice. Well, uh, I was counting the house out of force, I have it. <laughs> Forgive me. Sit down. I'll buy you a drink. Oh, no drink, thanks. Well, I'm sorry. I suppose there's a big picture and a sign outside saying Julie Dean sings tonight? No, and it's Julie Miller now, and there are no signs or pictures for housewives. The man with the moody hands is my husband. I didn't know you'd gotten married. Almost a year. A little rebound from you helped. Well, if you really mean helped, I'm glad. Have you missed me? Well, I've uh, missed the fun girl. I don't know about the career girl. What happened to change it? The uh, piano man? Facts of life changed me. The wrong breaks at the wrong time. He's good. Yes. He throws a long shadow, mostly over me. Monty, I want you to meet an old friend of mine. Willie Dante, my husband, Monty Miller. Monty? Sit down, have a drink. Yeah, thanks. So you're Danny, huh? Julie's talked a lot about you. How are things in old San Fran? Fine. I imagine your piano's made it that way pretty often. Not much lately. You know Dominic Miro out there? He used to be my agent, best pal. Yeah, I've heard his name a few times. Monty, please forgive the intrusion. You did say we could talk tonight. Mr. Dandy Phil Diamond. Really? Willie Dandy. I've heard a lot about you. I've heard a little about you, too, Diamond. Look, I'm working now. Can it wait? It's been waiting for some time now, Monty. I'm sure your wife and Mr. Dandy will excuse us. Excuse me. Glad to meet you, Danny. Likewise. Now you know. I know Diamond runs a dirty collection business for a gambling syndicate. If he comes calling, Monty must be in pretty deep. A year of wrong horses and wrong cards. It all adds up to about $10,000. I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do... Uh... If there was, would you? I could sure try. If you don't mind, I'll remember that as a comfort, Willie D. I think I'll have that drink now. There you are. Thank you. It happened just a few days after you left. Diamond came to see Monty while I was shopping. And when I came back, I found Diamond stretched out cold with the side of his face torn open. Monty had smashed him with the lamp. Did Monty tell you he was going to run? Right then and there. He took all the cash we had and flew to Chicago. Diamond traced him out there and... And then Monty disappeared. To San Francisco? Well, I didn't know that at the time, not until he called. He asked me to send him as much money as I could to a post office box here. Because Diamond was having you watched? More than watched. Diamond's a vain one. And Monty scarred his face. Diamond swore he'd break Monty's hands. 
so he wouldn't play again. His version of an, an eye for an eye. But you came anyway. Now I know I shouldn't have. I thought it was a way safe until I saw the gunman at the airport. Mm -hmm. And the police can't touch Diamond until he does something. How long can they protect Monty? Not forever. When you find Marty, what then? We'll hide together, run together. I don't know. Oh, that's no way to live. Don't you think I know that? I told him so before he took off. If I could only find him and talk to him. <laughs> Julie. The least you could say is I take advantage only of my friends. Have Joe bring my car around the back, will you? Mm -hmm. Right. You going now? To ask around town. Your suitcase should be here soon, and Stu's getting your room at the rally. I'll call you as soon as I know something. Hold it, Donnie. Mr. Diamond wants to see you personally. How does it feel to be surprised? slept a long time, Daddy. I never thought I'd look forward to owing you something, Diamond. Mr. Cox asked you to come in a nice way. The argument was your idea. What do you want? Nothing much, really. Just your word that you'll keep your nose out of my business. Your business being to cripple a guy who picked a few bad horses. That's old business. You want to see what's under this? I'm going to have to look at it every time I shave, the rest of my life. OK, so you lost the fight. They've got plastic surgery nowadays. That's great, just great. You tell that to Monty after I'm through with him. Look, if you're worried about the girl, don't. As long as she doesn't get in my way. She will if she can. Then do her a favor. Let me find him first. You finished? I warn you, Daddy. Stay out of my way or the next time you won't be around to have a choice. I'll be looking forward to the next time. Next week. Meryl? I told you the office was closed. I'm not a client. Well, you're dressed like one. Look, I gotta catch a plane in half an hour. I don't have that much to say. The name is Danny. I'm looking for Monty Miller. Coffee's hot, Nick. Want some? Uh, not today. I gotta catch that plane. Well, I already filled your cup. I could bring it in here. Look, I said not today. All right. Now, happy birthday to you, too. Molly, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you as soon as I get back, okay? Don't bother. Everything at once. Oh, yeah. You uh, were asking about Monty. I don't handle him anymore. He once told me you were his friend, his best friend. Dandy. Willie Dandy. You own that nightclub. Well, so since you didn't come over here at 9 in the morning to hire a piano player, is that your way of playing dumb, or don't you know that Monty's in trouble? How should I know? And how should you know, for that matter? His wife's a friend of mine. She's here trying to find him. Julie's a friend of yours, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing at all. OK, so Monty's in trouble. What kind of trouble? 
There's a gambler named Diamond looking for him. Looking to hurt him. A gambler, huh? Figures with Monty. Didn't I hear that you used to bet a buck or two before you went in the restaurant business? That's right. Why? Oh, no reason. Just that you said uh, a gambler, and you used to be a gambler. Sort of a coincidence, don't you think? It's not that kind of a coincidence, Merrill. Now, do you know where Monty's hiding? Look, I told you, I didn't even know he was hiding. I gotta go now. If you don't believe me, you can follow me to the airport. If you hear from Monty, tell him he can call Julie at my club. Sure, you bet. Now that the grouch is gone, there's an extra cup available. You look like you could use one. You are so right. Willie Dante. Molly O'Malley. Dante's Inferno? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Long night? You might say that. Well, happy birthday to me. On the level? Uh-huh. And if I look a day over 25, it's the fault of that Neapolitan no goodnik that just walked out of here. But there's nobody else you'd rather be mad at. Mm-mm. Women are goons, aren't they? You know, he was going to give me a party at his place last night for my birthday. Invited all our friends. Then at the last minute, he called the whole thing off. How come? I don't know. Some mumbo-jumbo about business. I may not be his secretary, but I can tell a lame excuse when I hear one. And you're not jealous, either. No, oh, but I am. He's been breaking dates with me for about a week now. A couple of nights ago, I went up to his place. You know, I nearly fell apart when he wouldn't let me in. But then he explained everything and you believed him. No, I wish I had. I broke into that apartment looking for silk stockings and all I found was a musician that needed a shave. You know, they really were working. Was the musician a piano player? Yeah, how'd you know? May I use your phone? Help yourself. What's the next home address? 1608 Fell Street. Why? Molly, I didn't really come here to trick any information out of you. And did you? I think so. If Nick finds out about it, he might not like it. Uh, hello. Miss Julie Miller's room, please. It isn't something that'll hurt Nick, is it? No, I promise you that. As a matter of fact, it might be a load-up. Hello, Julie? Well, I have been better. But I think I found out where Monty is. Thank heavens. Where is he? I'll pick you up in about 10 minutes and take you there. It'll take me at least a half hour to get ready. Why don't you give me the address and I'll meet you there? 1608 Fell Street. Wonderful. In a half hour. Bye. Oh, Willie. Bless you. Like I said, He'll get somewhere on my side. I call my friend in Chicago. You'll be singing there next week. Well, you took a short half hour. Hello, Willie D. That's him playing in there, isn't it? Not for long, pal. Sorry. Monty wasn't going anywhere. And Phil Diamond is. And I was just a convenient bird dog to lead you to Monty, is that it? But in San Francisco, Willie D's the best. Diamond might be killing him in there. Get him out of here.
bastard. As far as I know, Sergeant. No, I'm, I, I'm sure that Mr. Dante would prefer to be left out of it. Very well, I'll tell you. Goodbye. The diamond and his gun bearer have been booked for assault and battery. And the police say they will not need you. Well, what about Julie? Last time I heard from Marty, he wasn't going to press charges. What? Oh, I get it. He probably wants to find her himself and belt her around a little. No, I'd give even money that he wants to forgive her. Oh, you're kidding. The dame sold him down the river. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's trying to prove something. What, that he bounces? Uh, perhaps he'd rather be miserable with her than miserable without her. Uh, there's a saying of an old Himalayan tribe. Oh, that's a lot of bull. I beg your pardon? The Himalaya tribe and the piano player, it's all a lot of bull. Right, Willie? Don't get me in on this. Oh.